do is we'll try and do something interesting and we'll try and see if we can actually, because we've got all these countries and all these cases and so forth, can we actually create a Google map where we can display all these markets? Now, you can do that for your company. Same thing, whether you want to do it for to understand where your customers are, whether where your suppliers are, where um, your potential areas of sales are and everything. So let's let's try doing that. So what I'll do is I'll open Google Chrome and uh, let's open a new tab. And in the tab, I'll say uh, Google My Maps. So you have to have a Google account. So once you say My Maps, you click on that. And in this case, I'm logged in. If you aren't, please do log in. And then it gives you a chance to say, create a new map. Let's say, all right, we'll create a new map. And you see a new maps opens up, but it's asking you, do you have a name for this map? So we'll call it March 12th, 2020 Coronavirus Map. Right, and we'll save it. And we say, where's your data? And we'll say, all right, let's import the data. And where do we import it from? So let me see if I can open my finder window. And this is the coronavirus March 12, 2020 data. So I'm just going to include that. Now, you subtly say these, very interesting. So what Google, uh, th this is known as an API, an application programming interface that actually links onto uh, your own application and tries to figure out, in this case, what it's done is taken the top row as labels and it's asking you, which label do you want in order to identify the map? So we'll say the country's my primary label, right? So of course you'll see you could choose multiple, but in this case, country is your only map label. Now, of course, if you had latitude and longitude as two separate um, columns, then you would choose both latitude and longitude because latitude alone can't um, specify a spot, neither can longitude. So we'll say country, then we'll say continue. Then they're saying, all right, what is the column to tile your markers? So it depends on whether you're an optimist or a pessimist. Let's say I'm an eternal optimist, so I'm just going to say, I want to look at recovery rather than deaths. Now you can choose anything you want. You can see new cases, total deaths, total number of cases, and so forth. So I, you know, or else, well, you can simply say total number of cases, right? And we'll say, finish. Now let Google do its magic. You see it says loading and voila you suddenly have all the countries you've indicated. Now you see all of them are in blue. So what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of this uniform style thingy. So I'm going to click on that and we'll say, no, 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 we don't want it uniform style. We want to look at it in terms of total cases and we'll just leave it there. So you see that total cases, every single color actually means a different set, right? So it's styled by total cases. Now I'll let you play with it, but once you have it, then all you need to do is, if you're here, let's head to Europe. All right, so now if we were to click on France, you immediately have 200, 2,281 total cases because that was a primary thing. France is the country, no new cases, 40 total deaths, 12 newly recovered, 2,221 active cases, 105 total cases, 2.1% deaths, out of the num number of cases and 
recovered out of newly recovered out of the total set on the other hand if we were to look at um, let's say a different color right so let's look at Luxembourg we only have with no deaths only 12 new cases and then altogether 19 cases they're all active um, similarly if we were to look at um, hotter spot such as now you'll see Italy has two markers one because Vatican City is one of them but this is Italy 12,462 cases 827 tets um, 1,045 recovered 10,590 active cases 6.64 percent deaths out of cases or percentage 8.39 percent recovery now if we were to move across the pond back to the United States you can easily find information here too right you see right out here you've got United States got 1364 new cases 63 now it might actually you know in this case there's been a small glitch in Google it thinks Georgia is a state rather than Georgia is a country so it mistakenly put it in there but nonetheless uh, you do understand and it's, it's a very useful way to tackle it but a good way to represent it once again if I we were to zoom out gives you a quick view of what's going on around the world so that gives you a quick overview on how to load and display your Excel data especially location-based Excel data onto Google Maps and that's it it's very straightforward very simple